Hello everyone, it's Olivia here aka Story Minded and I just wanted to make a really quick video or hopefully a really quick video um, that's going to be a part of my tiny tips playlist which I haven't added to in like a hundred million years um, I just wanted to do a quick video about um, titling because I know some people out there really struggle to come up with ideas for titles for me personally, um, usually titles come very naturally to me I don't know why, sometimes a random title will just pop into my head and then that that helps me form a basis for my story or poem or whatever it is I'm writing. But sometimes I have moments where I'm like, I finish a piece of writing and I'm like, great, I sort of, I know the themes, I know the concepts, I know what this story's about, but I have no idea what to call it, which is why I'm going to talk about this. Um, so, there's this really amazing website that my wonderful critique partner slash teacher slash colleague we're many things to each other. <laughs> um, she once showed us this amazing website, which is a word cloud generator. And I, if I can turn, this might be dodgy, but I'm going to try my best. Hopefully, that is showing you the um, website. If not, it's um, https colon slash slash www.jasondavies.com slash word cloud slash, and I'll put a link on this video anyway um, and it's a word cloud generator and this is amazing um, so what you do you there's a little box on the right hand side on the screen um, that says number of words and you can type in the number of words you have you can change the shape of it and what you do you copy a section of your text or all of your text um, it tends to work better for shorter stories I will say that um, so you might just want to do a section of your text, maybe a part of your text that you feel has the most impact or most relevance that could help you come up with the title. Um, so I've today I've just finished doing some edits for a flash fiction. And what you do is you type that in, um, you put the number of words, and then if you click the word go once you've pasted your text into the box, it will create this um, word cloud for you. And what it should do in theory is it will bring up the most frequently used words and that can be really helpful because if you're using repetition as a technique in your work it shows that you're emphasizing something and there's something really important for why you keep returning to this so um my flash fiction is about um this sister these two sisters it's written from the perspective of the old sister and she's got a lot of jealousy issues for her younger sister and when they were children um they were both obsessed with this um, their mum's music box and the older sister would always refer to her as mama and the music box is special because it's got an angel on top that can actually be taken off and played with so um, I, w I had an idea for maybe the title calling it angel but I felt like that was empty because it was just like a ge angel it was too generic so I thought oh I haven't used the word cloud in a while and I'll use it so I put my text into the word cloud and it it came up with angel being the biggest word which symbolizes that that's the word I've used most frequent, frequently throughout the flash fiction but then it also brought up mamas and that's what the older sister always refers to her she refers to her um mum as mama whereas her younger sister always calls her mummy so mama's angel and that's that's now the title of the flash fiction and I was really happy with it so that's just um one of my tips for um, coming up with titles if you're stuck really it's really good for inspiration to have like a word cloud and also for editing purposes if you realize there's lots of like conjunctions in there or words that you shouldn't really you don't really want to be repeating loads and loads and loads then it's a really handy tool to have um, so yeah and I guess the only other thing I could really say is that try and focus in on a theme or a concept and just try and make your titles as unique as possible and you want your titles to grip the reader as much as you want your writing to grip the reader and I mean it's like if you go into a bookstore and you know that that title just catches your eye and it's doing that for a reason so just take do take the time over your titles they're just as important as your piece of work if not more so to get that reader to initially pick it up in the first place so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to bring you more little tips soon. Bye!